So today I'm uh, messing with one of these um, Meshtastic devices. Uh, if you're here today, then you probably already know what this is. Um, so this is uh, one from Helltech. This is just the, um, you know, with the plastic case on here. It's uh, the same uh, unit right here. Today I will be building and putting this into a box, right? With the goal of making uh, basically a box that, uh, you know, has power, antennas, all the good stuff. And I can stick it up in the tree and use it as a repeater. Um, the idea being is when I go out camping um, or things like that, that I can take, I also have an order of those small, um, I'll go ahead and put a little picture of it right there. Um, the uh, Helltech devices, they're these really small, like cylindrical devices that you can just like hang from the lanyard. So I'll give them my kids and then that way I can look on my phone and, and see where they're at when we're, when we're out and about. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So just do a quick run through of, of the parts that I have here. So this is the case that I have. So this is a nice... You know, it's a sealing case. I'm going to, of course, be breaking that seal with all the holes I'll be cutting in it. I already have, I'm going to be using four, you can see in here, uh, 18650 uh, lithium ion batteries. I am going to use this to sort of house the device. You can see I have the standard. I can go out here. I have the standard. Um, you know, this is my Meshtastic Laura device right here. Um, We've got the Meshtastic device. It, uh, by default, does not, or at least this particular one, does not come with GPS. So I do have the GPS unit uh, right here. Is the GP GPS unit with the uh, antenna that we put it on. Um, I also want to add, in addition to the um, to having the batteries, a solar panel. I want to be able to, you know, hopefully while this thing is deployed, um, I can gain back at least some of the juice. Um, from solar i'm hoping so what i'll do is i'll have the solar panel going into this small little mppt uh, solar charge controller so this will output a consistent uh approximately four volts that's not quite enough i do need it five volts so i'll be popping it into this little boost converter and then i have these these might look familiar um these are um usb um lithium ion charge controllers basically so it's uh, five volts in and then um, connection for the battery. So this does actually um, have a cutoff in it, a low voltage cutoff, an over voltage protection um, built onto this uh, board, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is I've got the USB, which I'll stick on there so I can, um, you know, I can recharge versus USB. But I also have two inputs on here that are expecting five volts. We'll have the solar panel come into there and then all my outputs there. Um, and then that should, and then that goes just into the device. I am going to throw a little switch on it, right? Just so I can have an on-off switch uh, for the device itself. A little external antenna mounting, so I can stick one of these on. Nice things if I'm hanging it up in the tree, it can be like this. If I am setting it uh, down, you know, I can. It's got the 90 bend on it, so it should work in either configuration. Um, and I have all the wiring and everything I need right here to do this. All right, so a few days have passed uh, since uh, the entire uh, build video. Um, in that time, um, I've been able to do some testing. Here is the finished, completed device. Uh, I've been able to do some testing. There are only a, a couple small things that I changed and uh, a couple things that are uh, different between uh, you know, the last couple of days. Um, one of which you might notice is uh, I, these are not my safety glasses. These are my regular glasses. Somehow between now and then, I also scratched my cornea and uh, contacts are no-go right now, but you did see me wearing my safety glasses almost the entire time. So I, it's random, I guess. Okay. So this is the complete device. You can see it is actually powered on right now. You can see the um, GPS light uh, powered in the back there. Um, it, it works great. So based on the four, um, batteries that I have in here, these are the, um, Lithium-ion uh, 18650 batteries. They are, what are they, I guess, rated at? I think five, I don't know. It's like 5,000 milliamps, I think, is what they rate at. Something like that. Um, uh, it gets probably about 24 hours of use. I did run it in the backyard. Uh, by the way, it was great. Um, um, I do have, so I have another one of these, and this is the one I that I just you know used, that I started using. Um, picked up almost nothing. Picked up almost nothing. 
Um, and that, that difference that I, I talked about before is this uh, antenna right here, right? Just having this antenna and putting it outside and, and up in the tree made a huge difference. I was picking up contacts from, um, it was like 40 to 60 miles away. So it was pretty, pretty great. So yeah, so as far as the battery, um, it, you know, with it on like that, it was about 24 hours um, before I had to charge it again. And then with the, um, it's just a one amp, um, the charge controller. So it took, I think it was about probably, it was almost six to seven hours to get a complete full charge. I mean, most of that charge was completed in probably four to five hours. Um, it did take a while to, to fully complete the charge. Um, part of that though, um, that I did discover was, uh, I had no way. So one of the build, things that's different about my builds than that I noticed a lot of the other builds that you might see is it looks like a lot of people are powering their devices directly from the output of the battery. Um, right. And I can see that because, you know, from the different voltages when you're looking at in the app, right. It reports everyone's voltages. So, um, I, I was concerned. And the reason I didn't do that is I was concerned how the mesh tastic device and also the added GPS device was going to work if it was, you know, if the voltage got too low, uh, and if it was variable, um, I was worried if it got down, you know, three, you know, in the low threes, you know, how that was going to work or affect performance. I mean, I know it works, but I was, I was concerned about how it was going to affect performance. So I did want to have a consistent five volts. That was the, the choice I made is that my power delivery system was all five volts. The downside of that is when you are looking at the device um, remotely, it does have that consistent five volts. So you can't tell uh, where the battery is at. So that's the one downside to that. So I did add, um, because I don't really need to see it remotely. This device is going to be you know around me. Um, I did add, if you see on the bottom here, um, on the inside of voltage meter with uh, a little push button. Right, so I could push button and I can see uh, the voltage, uh, which is nice. Um, so I added that on. That was kind of the one, the one main thing, the one difference. Um, but it really, it's great. This should work. I have more testing to do. This should do exactly what I wanted to. I'll start taking it out on some of my camping trips and see uh, how it works. Um, yeah. So if you were just watching the short version of this video, um, I do have my full build video. It's very long. I don't know. It's like three hours, something like that long. I'm still cutting it right now. It's very long. Um, I wanted to get something shorter out that, you know, you could easily just see kind of the build and see what was up. If you are interested in watching the entire build video and to see my entire process of kind of how I, you know, kind of put a DIY type device like this together, um, feel free to take a look, you know, um, I'll link it below and probably have a card here at the end that you can take a look. So thanks.